532 says a fair coin is to be tossed 20 times. Find the probability that 10 of the tosses will be tail, uh, heads and 10 will fall tails. So here we've got uh, 20 coin tosses. And um, the probability of each coin toss is going to, uh, of landing heads or tails is 0.5. And so part A says find the probability of getting 10 heads and 10 tails with a binomial. Okay, so the binomial is going to give us an exact probability, and that's going to be uh, n choose k, p to the k times 1 minus p to the n minus k, and so that will be um, 20 choose 10, and we want to get 10 heads and each tail, 0.5, and we want to get 10 tails. So when you crunch this out, um, you get um, 8, 4, 7, 5, 6 times 0.5 to the 10 times 0.5 to the 10 and you get 0.1762 alright so that's um, using the binomial and part B says normal approximation Okay, so the normal approximation says we're going to take the binomial distribution, which uh, might look something like this, okay? Actually, I don't know why those two middle bars are the same height. They shouldn't be. Okay, and uh, whatever. We're going to do this, okay? And so this is centered at 10. And so when we want to find this area here, using the continuity correction, we're going down to 9.5 and, and up to here, up to 10.5, okay? And so here, the normal approximation has mean mu is equal to n times p. So that's going to be 20 times 0.5. So uh, n is equal to 10. And standard deviation is going to be the square root of n times p times 1 minus p. And so that is going to be uh, the square root of 20 times 0.5 times 0.5. Uh, 2.236 okay so basically the square root I think uh, yeah square root of 5 2.236 okay and so now we're going up to 10 and a half and down to 9 and a half so z on the 10 and a half side is going to be 10.5 minus 10 divided by 2.236 and there you get a positive uh, 0.22 okay and then Z on the other side you get uh, 9.5 minus 10 divided by 2.236 so that's what minus 0.5 divided by 2.236 and you get a negative 0.22 all right so the area to the left a positive 0.22 is 0.5 Eight seven one, and then the area to the left of negative 0.22 is 0.4129. Okay, and so the difference is going to be 0.5871 minus 0.4129, and that is going to give us 0.1742. Okay, so this is with the normal approximation. And this is with the binomial distribution, okay? So in this case, it was a lot easier for us to use the binomial distribution, and the normal approximation was more work, okay? This is the exact probability, and this one, you can see, is pretty close, okay? And uh, in this case, it seemed like a lot more work to do the normal approximation, but in other cases, it's a lot easier to do it this way than it is to do it that way.